Hi everyone and welcome back to a very special review here on Jurassic Collectibles. So as you can see we have got the newest version of the Battle Damage Albertosaurus. The yellow and kind of minty greeny blue coloured version. You can see the Albertosaurus Battle Damage Owen and Blue. The battle damage on the side, on the back of the packaging, you've got a better look at the play feature. Same play feature as the last Albertosaurus. Content duo, one dinosaur. So contents, one dinosaur. Uh, the fax app just up there. Jurassic World logo. Jurassic World logo on the side there. And the figure itself. And this is an incredibly rare figure. I got this one from Tim who runs Collect Jurassic. Link in the bio down below to his website. Uh, big thanks to him for hooking me up with this one. Uh, and yes, we are going to cut this one open and take a look at it. And also compare it to the last one. So just two things to cut here. And one more down in there. There we go. I believe, oh, he has got some stuff around his leg as well. And there you have it. That is the Albertosaurus removed from the package. And you can see the figure there. Cool, so a nice looking figure. We will get this out of frame, get ourselves set up properly give you a better look there you go so obviously this is a figure we have had before this is the exact same battle damage sculpt as has been used before but you can see it comes in this sort of minty blue almost gray color scheme I would say it's more gray than anything with some yellow striping on the head and the yellow striping is on both sides of the head as you can see there looks really really nice actually add some nice kind of highlights to this figure um, and all in all this is a really really great looking action figure you can see at the head we can open up the mouth just like with the last one really really nice attention to detail on the sculpt here lots of extrusions coming out of the head spikes coming out of the top the crests above the eyes, some nice detail for said eyes, just a little dot there but painted very cleanly, really really good looking jawline all in all, and then coming down to the body of the figure, we have got really nice details going throughout, nice details down the tail, you can see some really really great sculpt work, Really, really nice battle damage gashes here on the fire. There's actual texture there as opposed to just paint, which is nice. Nice detail all down the legs. You can see musculature and bone popping through, adding a real nice degree of texture to this figure. And then those legs with those painted claws. And you do get swivel joints at the legs there, which work well. Uh, you get swivels at the kind of hip and they can also come in and out. A ball joint at the tail. This is a little bit loose, unfortunately. A ball joint, or is it a swivel? A swivel with the arms. You can see the little kind of two finger arms just there. And then this neck joint is on a fantastic ball joint, which works really, really well. And then the play feature, just like with the other Allosaurus, we have got this kind of gooey, fleshy rib area inside. We can bring the bone down over the top like so, as you can see there, and then grab this patch of skin, bring it up and over. You have now got a non-battle damaged Albertosaur. If it gets in a clash with a dino, uh, it gets revealed, and then again, kind of have to hit it upwards and it suffers damage. So really, really cool and nice to have multiple display options here. Looks really good with the ribs like that, but also does look good with the entire thing covered. And for those of you who are completionists, you heard me mention that this is the second Albertosaurus we have received. 
Here is this figure next to the first Albertosaurus and you can see that they are incredibly different. Despite being the exact same sculpt, the variety in coloration here makes all of these figures look incredibly different. So that is really, really cool to see. So we're gonna bring this one out of shot, centralize this guy. I think that is our look at the newest version of the battle damaged Albertosaurus. It helps if I don't knock it over, considering how much it cost me. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can see, nice figure, nice repaint of the Albertosaurus. I don't imagine this one will be one that many people will actually want to hunt down, considering it's a little bit more of a unique colour scheme compared to the last one. But for those of you who are completionists, uh, obviously this is one that you'll want to track down. With that said, a nice figure, a nice sculpt, and I'm glad to have another Albertosaurus in the collection. But with all that said, do let me know what you guys think. Do leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think of this version of the Albertosaurus. And do tell me what you would like us to review next. As always, guys, thank you so much for checking out our reviews here on Jurassic Collectibles. Make sure to like, favourite, subscribe, do all of that good stuff. And until the next video, take care and have a great week.